Here we go again. The MAGA Republicans are trying to vacate the chair, trying to remove MAGA Mike Johnson as the Speaker of the House, just as the MAGA Republicans did with Kevin McCarthy. MAGA Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene introduced a resolution to vacate the chair to remove MAGA Mike Johnson. Here she is talking about what she did in a press conference after she introduced it. Play the clip. I filed the motion to vacate today, but it's more of a warning and a pink slip. I respect our conference. I paid all my dues to my conference. I'm a member in good standing, and I do not wish to inflict pain on our conference and to throw, to, throw the house in chaos. But this is basically a warning, and it's time for us to go through through the process, take our time, and find a new Speaker of the House that will stand with Republicans and our Republican majority instead of standing with the Democrats. Now, technically, this resolution is still considered to be in the hopper. It has not been formally read in the House of Representatives. Nonetheless, it was uh, put forward by Marjorie Taylor Greene after what was called a minibus passed in the House of Representatives, which MAGA Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene did not want MAGA Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, to put forward. This allowed the government to be funded until at least September, and MAGA Republicans wanted the government shut down so there could be chaos, disorder, and economic calamity, and now they want to try to create that as well and create that chaos by vacating the chair. The vote was 286 to 134 to pass this minibus spending bill, and that enraged MAGA Republicans, and that's when Marjorie Taylor Greene introduced this resolution to vacate the chair. Now, uh, just as that motion was being introduced by Marjorie Taylor Greene, or I should say right before that, MAGA Republicans held a press conference where they viciously attacked MAGA Mike Johnson, their Speaker of the House, that they selected after removing the previous Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. Here is Matt Rosendale, MAGA Republican, during a press conference. Play the clip. House floor, and all of that has been thrown out the window. You've got the leadership and the White House making decisions about how the entire country is supposed to be run, which leaves 450 people outside of the discussion. And that's not what the American people asked for. That's not what the American people elected. Now here's MAGA Republican Tim Burchett during that press conference. Let's play the clip. And we've got to take our country back. Dad Gummit, if you don't like the people in office, both their asses out. I don't care if you play golf with them. I don't care if you go to church with them. Get them out of here. They are ruining your country. Don't let them come home and throw you the red meat and say, oh, I'm voting against this. I'm voting against that. That's a bunch of garbage. They are selling your country out for the Uniparty, for these national chambers of commerce that wreck every dadgum thing. Look, here is MAGA Republican Eli Crane during that press conference before Marjorie Taylor Greene introduced the resolution to vacate or remove MAGA Mike Johnson. Play the clip. And please quit sending politicians up here who come to your town, who come to your Lincoln Reagan Day dinner talking about fiscal responsibility, border security, and then they vote on this crap repeatedly. You can help us. Quit sending them up here, because in case you guys haven't noticed, we are radically outnumbered. It's always the same names. It's always the same names of people trying to stop it. And it's always the same names, unfortunately, who talk a good game in the media and back at home in their districts. And then they come up here and they vote for this crap, hoping that you don't pay attention. You can help us. Clearly, I'm a here is MAGA Republican Andy Biggs attacking MAGA Mike Johnson and the Republican Party. Play the clip. Well, what I say to the speaker, and I've told him to him to his face, and I say it again, is you know what? The American people, they're watching what we do. And they know something. If you surrender, you lose every time. But if you fight, you got a chance to win once in a while at least. I'm not saying we don't have a tough road because we've got, uh, in name, we have a very slim majority. And in reality, maybe, maybe we don't even have a majority. But doggone it, fight! 
This is capitulation. This is surrender. What if you could support family farmers and reduce your environmental imprint all while enjoying the highest quality meat on earth? When you join the Moink movement, you can. Moink delivers grass-fed and grass-finished beef and lamb, pastured pork and chicken, and sustainable wild-caught Alaskan salmon straight to your door. Moink farmers farm like our grandparents did, and as a result, Moink meat tastes like it should because the family farm, let's face it, does it better, and the Moink difference is a difference you can taste. Unlike the supermarket, Moink gives you total control over the quality and source of your food. You choose the meat delivered in every box, like ribeyes to chicken breast to pork chops to salmon and fillets and much more. Plus, you can cancel at any time. Moink is helping save rural America. I love it and you will too. Join the Moink movement today. Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary called Moink's bacon the best bacon he's ever tasted and Ring Doorbell founder Jamie Siminoff jumped at the chance to invest in Moink. Plus, they guarantee you'll say, oink, oink, I'm just... Happy I got moinked. I know I do and you will too. Keep American farming going by signing up at moinkbox.com slash Midas Touch right now. And listeners of this show get free bacon for a year. That's one year of the best bacon you'll ever taste, but for a limited time. It's spelled M-O-I-N-K box.com slash Midas Touch. That's moinkbox.com slash Midas Touch. So more Republican infighting, more chaos and disorder by the MAGA Republicans. I showed you that clip earlier, Marjorie Taylor Greene at the press conference where she described or she discussed how she brought that motion, a resolution to vacate the chair. Here, Marjorie Taylor Greene says that she wants him out. She wants MAGA Mike Johnson out. Play this clip. So just to follow up on that, though, you're calling this a pink slip, a warning sign. The bottom line, you want Speaker Johnson out. I, well, I wouldn't have filed a motion to vacate if right, I didn't. Right, we but, need a new speaker. This is not personal against Mike Johnson. He's a very good man, and I, I have respect for him as a person, but he is not doing the job. The proof is in the vote count today. He passed a budget that should have never been brought to the floor, did not represent our conference, and it was passed with the Democrats and without the majority of the majority. What happened? What happened? Here, Marjorie Taylor Greene says that MAGA Mike Johnson is actually working for the Democrats, that he's doing the bidding of the Democrats. That's what Marjorie Taylor Greene and the MAGA Republicans are saying. He's working for the Dems. Play the clip. Sure how that if works they out. Do that, don't you worry that you're basically pushing him or, or any new speaker into the arms of Democrats? Because like at a certain he's point, he's already in the arms of Democrats, and the it's it's proof in the vote count today. This was a Democrat bill. This was not a Republican bill. We weren't allowed to introduce amendments. We weren't allowed to have a say. We weren't even given the the respect of the seventy two hour rule to read one thousand. So you think pages. it was it would be better to shut? And earlier in the day, we saw this coming. We saw that um, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was going to introduce this resolution. She went on the Steve Bannon podcast. Steve Bannon, of course, who's under indictment in the state of New York. He was previously pardoned by Donald Trump for the related crimes. And here's what Marjorie Taylor Greene had to say to Steve Bannon. Play the clip. Number one, Mike Johnson has gotten rolled completely, totally in every single process. He has not negotiated with strength. He's handed every single thing over to Chuck Schumer. This is Chuck. Now, the hosts on Fox are just completely losing their mind right now. They know that this looks really bad for the Republican Party yet again. I mean, yeah, that's kind of your fault, Fox. But this was what followed after Marjorie Taylor Greene introduced this resolution to vacate the chair to remove MAGA Mike Johnson. Play the clip. I feel we are seeing yet another tantrum by a tiny faction of that conference that is disrupting the entire machine that we just exhaustively waited for to get back on track. And here we are again, watching someone steal the time, steal the audio, steal the limelight, steal the attention. She says we should have our attention on the illegals streaming across the border on a million other things. No, our, our attention was on you while you gave a presser. I'm sick and tired of it as a Republican, as an American citizen. I want them to get to work. I love Speaker Johnson. Who would be better than him, MTG? What is your plan? And I don't want my legislature taking two days up to vote for that, to figure everything out, to look incompetent during a presidential election year. This is the last thing I want to be subjected with. This is, uh, it's frankly, 
at a minimum, it's disappointing. There's a great- And for those who have been watching our coverage here on the Midas Touch Network, this whole fight with MAGA Mike Johnson should not come as a total surprise. We covered it here on the Midas Touch Network each and every step of the way. In fact, back in January, we did a story talking about how Marjorie Taylor Greene was threatening then to vacate the chair against Speaker MAGA Mike Johnson, and she said then that he was failing on the job. We played this clip, and you've been following the Midas Touch podcast, the ones I do with my brothers, and, and just some of the hot takes that we do. You know, we showed this clip before, but this was Marjorie Taylor Greene saying this back in January. Play this clip. But right now, Mike Johnson is getting rolled in meeting after meeting after meeting. When, he's, when he is talking to Jake Sullivan and Chuck Schumer every day and impressed with these Four Corners meetings, but he's not talking to me and other important members in our Republican conference at all about any of the negotiations and any of the plans and exactly what we want to see done. He's failing on the job. But the biggest red flag for me, Steve, right now that has me livid is this deal with Ukraine. This is a losing war. It is a losing issue. The American people do not support it. Our border security is not a negotiating tool for the Ukraine war that the Pentagon loves and Joe Biden loves loves and the Democrats love and that these rhino neocon Republicans and Nikki Haley is frothing at the mouth over because her donors support it. No, 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 no. Mike Johnson should not be going in there with Chuck Schumer and saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to make this deal where 5,000 illegal aliens, not migrants, cross the border every damn day so you can get $60 billion over to Zelensky, the most corrupt president in the world right now, because Ukraine is not the 51st state. Every day Mike Johnson gets closer and closer to this deal brings me closer and closer to vacating the chair because I have absolutely had it. So what's been the difference between January and now? Why is she seeking to vacate the chair right now and remove MAGA Mike Johnson now? Well, you'll recall that there was a few times right as the government was about to shut down. Remember MAGA Mike Johnson um, he basically tried to delay and buy time doing these, what he referred to as staggered CRs, staggered continuing resolutions that funded different portions of the government with expiration dates at different times, kind of just also creating total and utter disorganization. But it was really just a procrastination or delay tactic is what MAGA Mike Johnson was doing there. Um, but finally, it got to the point where he had to actually do something. So rather than actually passing the omnibus spending bill, which is like the bare minimum function of Congress, right? Like funding our government. MAGA Mike Johnson did a minibus, as he called it, which funded the government through September. And so that's the status right now. And that's what's made Marjorie Taylor Greene really, really upset. So we'll keep you posted, but... Um, right now, this resolution's been entered with the clerk. It has not been formally read. Um, once it gets formally read, then there's a process that would take place about removing Mike Johnson. And we'll keep you posted every step of the way here on the Midas Touch Network. We'll let you know what's up. Hit subscribe. We are on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support and thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.